Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I am about to take a walk down Lord Street. This was a request video. Lord Street starts just off Queen Street and all the noise you can hear is the demolition work going on at the Wilco's site. So yeah, that is Queen Street. That is the real coast side and we are going down Lord Street. So this was a request video, so let's take a look. On my left, at the beginning of Lord Street, on the junction of Queen Street, is the Flying Handbag Club and some little apartments on that side. There is some work going on there. You can see there's a bit of the road that's been dug up. And if I move over to the right, we can see the R bar, live entertainment, food, private functions, Christine's Hotel, number one, Lord Street. Moving on, looking down the right side, we've got McCall's Bistro. And the Northern Star. On the left, this is the back of Funny Girls, which is on Dixon Road. You can still hear the noise of all those demolition machines. There's a hotel guest house, I don't know the name of it on this side, that is on the corner of Lord Street and Springfield Road. Springfield Road, that is this road here, that has already recently been added to the Streets of Blackpool series. So let's cross Springfield Road quickly and keep walking down Lord Street. On the left is Alexandra House. Looks like private apartments and rooms. On the right, you can see Vibe, Hotel Nevada, the Fernley Hotel, and the Seacroft. I'm going to do my best to cover everything so I won't miss anything. Let's take a look on this side. That is Riley Court, the Encliffe Holiday Flats. Over on the right, the Hotel Royale. Back to the left again is the Garnet and the Della Lodge. Then the hotel blackpool.com and I'm not going to neglect this side. Just further on from the Hotel Royale is the Breen Hotel, Rubens Hotel and the Mardi Gras Hotel. And moving back to the left side, let's not forget the Apollo. The street I'm coming up to now is Bank Street that is already on the Streets of Blackpool series. On the right there we can get a good view of the Legends Hotel. And on the other corner that is a good view of Moors off Lord Street. Looking over on my left side is the Larkin. So now I'm going to cross Bank Street. And take a look down Bank Street both ways as a cross. Got some private flats on that side. 
and a few more private flats on the right as well there you can see the trades private members hotel but I'm just going to zoom in on this where it says Cranes Terrace 1906 Look at old plaque 1906 that was built There you can see some apartments there The sign over the door says Cleopatra Apartments This part of the street just looks like private houses So I'm just going to carry on walking Till I've seen the whole street the street I'm coming up to now is Cocker Street. That has already been added to the streets of Blackpool series, but it was a while back. I think I did Cocker Street in 2018. There on Law Street, you can see the Lenbrook. That is the Lenbrook Hotel. I may have to redo Cocker Street soon. But some of my older streets in Blackpool series from 2018 I didn't put commentary on and I think I could make a lot better job of doing them now if I redid them an updated version with a bit of commentary anyway we're still on Lord Street that is Lexham Apartments just see more private houses so we're going to take a look at the right the Glen Heath Hotel the Dragonfly licensed guest house the street I'm coming up to now is Yates Street that is actually not on the streets of Blackpool series maybe that's one I could add soon on that corner you can see White Heather there you can see Marnock Hotel, licensed. And Gabrielle's in one of my favourite shades of pink. Next door to Gabrielle's is the Riversvale. And next door to that is the Astor Hotel. Let's take a look on this side so we don't miss anything on this side. Got the new Bond Hotel, the Riversdale Holiday Apartments, the Ashley, Westfield House, the Wilcott Hotel, and the D. Lovely. So now we can take another look at the end off there. Next door to the Astley is Scarlet's Jocks Bar. And the street I'm coming up to now is Mount Street. Mount Street is another one that is not on the streets of Blackpool series. I may have to add that soon as well. Just let me turn back and show you Mr Sandman's because I really don't want to miss anything. So after seeing that, we're going to just get to the end of Lord Street. On the right is the Homely Private Hotel. Next door to that is Devonshire Lodge. Here I'm passing the Falkland Hotel bed, breakfast and evening meal, licensed residence and that folks is the end of Lord Street 
Lord Street finishes on Pleasant Street. This is another one that I haven't covered yet. I will have to put some of these streets on my series soon. So we can see Lord Street finishes here on Pleasant Street. And you can see Dixon Road there, the Claremont Hotel. Dixon Road is already on the streets of Blackpool series. So for now, I'm going to take a final look down Lord Street, where I've just walked. And I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a like and a comment. Please subscribe and I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.